Okay, pass the freaking brains over. Oh, you guys, this is... By the way, um... We're back, and I am Negan. Today, we're all Negan. In honor of our very special guest who is going to play a very zombie-tastic game with us, please welcome the creator of The Walking Dead and the brand new comic book series, Oblivion Song, Robert Kirkman! Hey! Hey, everybody! Hey. I like you came in with one a hustle. of these. Yeah, yeah, one of those, and then one of those, and then and a little handshake. Yeah, and then you're in a straight jacket. Oh, oh my god! Oh you're my crazy. god! You're crazy! Oh you're full of stuff that's that's totally destroyed me. I've made so many mistakes in my life. <laughs> Welcome to the show, show, man. Glad to be here. This, this is, is an awesome. honor. Oh, oh, it's an honor for me. Yeah, thank okay, you. There we go. Let's uh, sip it. There we go. Down. This is not. This is just regular water, just in case you're wondering. Ooh. But somebody's gonna eat. Brain Potentially. Flavor. Okay, you may not be aware of this, Robert, but the internet is really into The Walking Dead. That's what I hear. Yes, and they're also <laughs> into coming up with crazy fan theories about the show. Uh, and this game is all about those fan theories. Sometimes mm. those theories are helpful, so I like this. This is okay. good. All right, let's play. If you can't guess which Walking Dead fan theories are real, I might have to bust out Lucille. Okay, we've compiled some uh, the craziest fan theories we could find. Uh, and then Link and Robert are gonna play against each other by guessing which theories are real and which ones we made up. And by These real, are not real. Yeah, no. those are not real. Those no. are store-bought. Now, and by real, I don't mean that this actually happened on the show, which you guys are probably smart enough to know that. You're definitely smart enough to know that. <laughs> uh, you would be surprised. <laughs> These are if people have like collectively gotten behind these theories or not. And of course, the person who gets more right wins and the loser has to eat brains, pig brains. And if um, if you lose, oh, baby. I'm gonna eat the pig brains for you because you're our guest. We're not That's gonna do nice that. That's very nice of you. So please win. That's very nice of you. That's very... Okay. Please lose. Not a fun guest. And big, big, big spoiler alert. If you aren't caught up, we're going to be spoiling some things, so click away now if you do not want to have things spoiled for you. Or so no, that's not a big deal. You'll, <laughs> yeah. you'll learn it eventually. Here we go, theory number one. The zombie Liger theory suggests that when Shiva the tiger was eaten alive by walkers in the toxic mud pit, mm. she was in fact very pregnant with the babies of a male lion. Therefore, it only makes sense that Shiva's unborn children will soon return to the screen as zombie Liger kittens. Ooh, that is enticing. Real or fake, guys? I'm gonna say fake because that's actually gonna happen on the show and there's <laughs> no way anyone could know that yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah. Well, mm, I'm gonna say- He's covering I, his tracks. I yeah. hope that it's real because I, I've i seen a liger in person. I have. They're huge. Where? where They're where? amazing. The at the zoo? Myrtle Beach. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course it was in I Myrtle felt Beach. It's, I, don't, I don't agree with it. I was just walking by it. I didn't buy a ticket to see it. What's there to agree with? That, Is it just on well, the They beach? should be out. They should be out. Oh yeah, you don't agree with the Not captivity of a, of a right, liger. Of a li I but, don't know, I think they're rare enough they need to be protected that way. Yeah. Well, they, they should be protected in some way. I think they can only be made in captivity, so. Oh, Let's they were talking never about ligers. You know what, Link? You're right! <laughs> ah! This is a real theory started by the last dog over on walkingdeadforums.com. Well, this is going well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tasting those brains, Rhett. <laughs> All right, theory number two. Some people still won't accept Glenn's death as evidenced by the Glenn is a twin theory. This theory asserts that it wasn't Glenn who got killed, but actually Glenn's secret twin who Glenn contacted after narrowly escaping death by rolling under the dumpster. The theory firmly believes that Glenn will soon make his triumphant return to Hilltop. Is this theory real or fake? This is also an upcoming storyline that's already being spoiled. Eh? <laughs> this is really I, awkward for me. How did he contact his 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 doppelganger? His, his, twin? his twin. They have like a psychic link. What's wrong with you, man? Oh, yeah. was he hiding under the dumpster? He like when one rolled under, the other one rolled out. Yeah, yeah. So that one could fake their death, and you know that's it's what? it's complicated. But listen, when we get into it in the series, you'll understand. You'll understand. Yeah. But then the so you're going with fake, okay? I'm and just gonna stay on this one. And see what <laughs> I'm just gonna hold the bat. <laughs> I, are you saying it can't all be real, right? I mean, what's the math on this? I don't know. <laughs> this one's fake, man. You sure? I agree. Yes. You're right. It's fake. Okay. <laughs> Although, if I had a secret twin, I would make out with myself. <laughs> the everyone has hearing loss theory posits that the never ending sound of sustained gunfire in the post apocalyptic Walking Dead world has taken its toll on everyone's ears. Which is why people are always getting snuck up on by such seemingly slow-moving walkers. Real that's like fake. a it's like a veiled critique. 
Yeah, that's like uh, you guys are writing poorly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need some it's reason to cool. explain this erratic behavior. <laughs> Clearly, people would be hearing these things. Um, hmm. Yeah. I can see you very subtly turn to real, though. I mean, yeah, I've heard, I, I feel I like I've heard that one before. I feel like that, that one's out there. I mean, I, I like to think that the uh, the constant smell of rotted flesh has pretty much ruined everyone's sense of smell as well. That's true. Right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, right. Can't smell good theory. All You're the here. senses are messed up. So you're saying real. I, you know what? I'm saying fake. I think it's, that's too desperate. Big too brains desperate. in your future. The theory is real, and many, many people on the internet have suggested it. That's probably why you have heard it. But you know what? It's they, canon. They can't hear me screaming Makes at the sense. TV. Don't go in there! <laughs> you scream that. And my wife hates it. <laughs> all right, you guys are tied. The last day on Earth theory was born after we were all left wondering, who did Negan kill? The theory points out the title of the episode, Last Day on Earth, is an anagram for A Slay N R Death O. The A stands for Alpha, O stands for Omega, and the NR in Slay N R Death stands for Norman Reedus, aka Daryl. Yes, the title of this episode itself t- tells us that Daryl was the one who got killed. Is this theory real or fake? It is complicated, but is it real <laughs> or fake? <laughs> I'm so confused by letters. Yeah, yeah, I knew you quit. You quit. Listening I quit listening pretty early on. I was like, I just hang out with Robert. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Brett's over there asking a question. I hope I hope you were listening. I'm just gonna. No, say, no, yeah. I mean, that's uh, the title of the episode. Uh, Seem to see if you just agree with me for the rest of this, then right. you automatically win. No, we're I'm tied. Already down one. We are tied. Now, when did that happen? On the remember. last question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Link, are you going to agree or are you going to disagree? What was Robert your saying? It's real. Oh, I'm saying it's real. You know, he I, has I, a bat I, with. I feel real like I've heard that it. one. I mean, when when the man says he feels like he's heard it, I mean, if he wants to go first, I just have to. Agree I didn't with realize it. we were tied oh. though, so don't put too much in my. Uh, don't that was put too totally much faith real. in me there. That's real. I've All right, you're both right. It is real. Created by Pogo the Possum. You know, he's always up to that theorizing over there on WalkingDeadForums.com. Pogo, Pogo is so good with yeah. those letters. I tell you, he's the best. Yeah, I actually pledged Alpha Slay in our Death Omega in college, but I didn't get in. <laughs> Three number five. He just kept. Bashing his head in, and they, I kept watching, and I kept saying to myself, Why am I watching this? Why don't I look away? My wife's looking away. My wife's walking out of the room. Yeah. And I'm sitting here, like, Wow, back. it's happening. Yep. This can't be happening. The, he, it was, was really, going to be Daryl, and then we heard about that uh, possum guy's theory. Oh. <laughs> then we changed it to the last minute. Possum Norman Reedus off. was like, Whew. <laughs> well, he had a twin, so it Thank didn't matter. Possum. It's true. It's true. The Heath dresses as a woman theory centers on Heath. Remember Heath? Heath disappeared after getting attacked by walkers, but then Tara thought she saw Heath, but it turned out just to be a walker with dreadlocks and a dress. But what if that walker was Heath? What if Heath always wanted to dress in women's clothing, but was worried about what people would think? This theory says Heath got bit and then said, screw it, I'm finally gonna dress as a woman. You do you, Heath. Real or fake? Even after you This is not a real theory. This is is very real, I'm going with fake. I mean, I, it's not real, but the theory is real. You know, that's what's so confusing about this game. <laughs> it's ve- it's a very real fake theory. You know what? I love that I'm tied with a guy who doesn't understand the game. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Now you're down one because Link's right. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> is right. Yeah, hit yes, him, the not me. the theory is real. And this uh, is like that time I saw Rachel Maddow and thought it was Link. <laughs> I'd do that. This too. isn't Rachel Maddow. <laughs> no. Oh, why are on this show? Sure. What Not happened? On MSNBC. Oh, jeez. Okay. All you can do is tie, which means I'm probably yeah. eating pig brains no matter what, man. Oh boy. Yep. The Carl is the savior theory claims that Carl's unique DNA contains the antidote to stop the zombie apocalypse. The theory points to the fact that Carl didn't die after getting shot in the face, yet once threw up after drinking soy milk. What kind of person would have such a complicated genetic makeup? The savior. That's who. Is this theory real or fake? You can lose an eye, but you can't drink milk. It's a bad theory. <laughs> Tell you that much, whoever came up with that bad one. Bad theory. You heard it here. Bad but real? Yeah. Or bad but If it was fake. a real one and the fan is out there watching this right now, shame on you. <laughs> shame. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, we get you, a better theory. What are you going to say, Link? I'm real just fake. Gonna, I'm just going to say fake. I'm just going to let... 
cosmically I was already on fake, and so I'm just gonna stay there and see what happens. Well, I gotta go for I gotta go for broke here in order to uh, continue to pull away. Real. I feel like I should have done better at this. Real. Blink, all you had to do was just agree when you when you were guaranteed the victory, but now you what? tied because it is fake. No, yes, I didn't. He, you, you he didn't, would have tied, and we both would have had to eat it. No, you didn't do the math on that one, man. You didn't do the math on that one. <laughs> He's still in there. Okay, pass the freaking brains over. Oh, you guys, this is. By the way, um. You hungry too? This is just the worst looking thing I think I've ever <laughs> seen. You don't have in my to eat life. it. I have to eat this it. This is coming from him. Well, I, I feel terrible that you guys have to eat this. Give I me mean, a fork, Link. I feel terrible that I have to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you know God, what? guys. Oh, that's a big. Yeah, let me make that smaller. That's no, you have thing. to eat the whole thing. Nope. Okay. He's, he said you had to eat the it's whole thing. It's got the consistency of cat food. That's nice. Mm, but it's not. It's brain. Now, what we have found by eating pork brain many times on the show. <laughs> you guys eat that... pork brain on the show a lot? It's yeah, happened. Yeah, you think does. Rachel Maddow's ever eaten pork <laughs> brains on her show? Exactly. I'm going to guess no. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, it makes you smarter, and we always <laughs> we always think of you when we eat it. <laughs> it smells so bad. Makes you smarter, though. You guys have to eat the whole bowl, right? No, 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 no. No? That's a lot. That's it. Just uh, here, you know what? Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing that. No way. No way. Oh. You got us, man. I Robert. thought you were going to do it, and I'm glad oh, you did. No. Thanks no. for hanging out with us, and thanks for playing with us. Everybody remember to watch The Walking Dead Sunday Nights on AMC and go pick up Robert's brand new comic book series, Oblivion Song, which Bam. hits stores tomorrow, March 7th. Oh, yeah. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You say you know what time it is. You know what time it is? Hi! I'm Monique. I'm from Australia, the land down under. It's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. I've never been to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now we <laughs> never will. <laughs> <laughs> click yes, the bottom will. link to watch this episode from the beginning. And click the top link to watch us play Hot Potato That Shocked You in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Want to keep up with the latest behind-the-scenes action? Check out the Mythical Instagram for an all-access pass.